Celaya is the third most populous city in the Mexican state of Guanajuato, with about 650,000 inhabitants. The city has gained importance in the last years for its great economic development, which has made it significant for many businesses looking to expand their production capacity within Mexico. Within the framework of the Spanish explorations and conquests of the bordering territories between the province of Nueva Galicia, today Jalisco, and the Kingdom of Mexico, today Mexico City, a series of settlements had already been established in what is currently the state of Guanajuato. The Spanish explorers and inhabitants of these settlements were victims of constant indigenous attacks. For which reason, the then Viceroy of New Spain, Luis de Velasco, issued a decree in 1551 for the installations of a garrison that would serve as protection for the interests of the crown. But despite the garrison, an indigenous town called Natahi, which in Atomi means under the mesquite, still remained on a plain that was conducive not only to the passage, but also to the establishment of another settlement. The frequency of attacks on travelers who were carrying precious metals to the capital forced Viceroy Martin Enriquez de Almanza to come personally to organize the defense of the travelers. The epicenter of construction for the citadel was the large convent of San Francisco. and the subsequent establishment of the royal houses in the Plaza de Almas. Later, the surrounding haciendas, with the help of the tributaries of the Apaseo and San Miguel rivers, became important producers of corn, wheat, chili, pepper, grapevine, and maggi. For the mining cities of Guanajuato, Zacatecas, and San Luis Potosi, on whose route to Mexico City would often stop in Celaya. In September of 1810, during the independence period, there was an insurgent group of about 10 soldiers who arrived in Celaya, expecting to be supported by the regiments from Queretaro and Guanajuato. The response from the city council did not arrive and the decision was made to march on the city. Father to the Mexican Revolution, Miguel Hidalgo, sent a letter to the Celayense Council asking for their unconditional surrender, noting that he had 70 Spaniards in his custody and that if the city did not surrender, he would slaughter them. The city was then taken peacefully on September 21st. In the first demonstrations, by an insurgent army in Mexico. In the Guadalupe Inn, which is still in the historic center of the city, Hidalgo was hosted, from where he organized the then precarious insurgent army. The following day, a review was held on a plain next to the chapel of San Antonio, where the first appointments were granted by acclamation of the rebels. Hidalgo corresponding to Generalissimo of America, Ignacio Allende, Lieutenant Colonel, and Ignacio Camargo as the quarterback. These appointments, which had the approval of the local authorities, are considered to be the founding of the current Mexican army. After these events, Hidalgo and Allende prepared to leave Celaya for the taking of Guanajuato. Independence followers from Celaya joined considerably increasing the number of Hidalgo supporters. This event is celebrated by the Monument to the Nation and to the Liberating Army, found beside the Temple of San Antonio in Celaya. Celaya's important geographical location meant that it was forced to partake in many of Mexico's most important military conflicts, such as the US and French interventions the Porfiriato, and the Battle of Celaya during the country's revolutionary period in the early 20th century. 
where the Obreganistas with 15,000 men were able to defeat the Villista forces of 30,000 men. Once the post-revolutionary era was over, from 1960, Celaya was connected by multiple roads and modern highways, airports and railways to distribute its full agricultural, industrial, commercial and livestock boom. This growth, coupled with the prosperous nature of the region, has earned it the designation of being known as the Golden Gate of the Bayo. Celaya has fully entered industrialization leaving its crafts to an industrial process and settling in its territory factories for goods, accumulators, cookies, cajetas, and commercial and food packing plants. Without ceasing to be one of the most important agricultural and livestock bastions in the state. In 2012, the construction of the Honda Car Assembly Plant began which had begun giving direct employment to 3,500 people, giving rise to the construction of a series of industrial parks in the metropolitan area of Celaya. The city is located in the 23rd position at a national level in the Stable Economy Subindex prepared by the Mexican Institute of Competitiveness. But not everything is going well in Celaya. Cartel-related violence has granted Celaya the title of the most dangerous city in the world in the year 2020, with 109 murders per 100,000 inhabitants. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I have many more videos of this part of Mexico in the playlist that is linked in the description below this video. You'll also find a link to another playlist of when I bicycled through Mexico. That was part of a larger trip, bicycling through Latin America. I've also bicycled through Eastern Africa and Central and Eastern Europe, and I have playlists for all those countries that I've bicycled through, available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. Alternatively, if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I've been and all the things that I got to see and do, I have that interactive map available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. where you can click on the different locations and see all the blog posts and videos that I've made of those places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures through Mexico and beyond, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.